Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list. Sorry for that. This is my pull list for the week of. Oh, what week is this? Oh yes, uh, it is May. Sorry, May twenty fifth, twenty sixteen. I am recording this a little late. Um, we had our midnight release party for DC Rebirth on Tuesday night, and I was at the shop until two. Uh, with that and putting new books out and then Wednesday I came down with something and felt like shit all day so yeah I was in bed pretty much after I got off of work and yeah so it's the first chance I've gotten to record so I apologize for the delay <clears throat> but let's get right into it first up on my pull list is Bloodshot Reborn number 13 uh, if you haven't been ready, reading um, Jeff Lemire's Bloodshot Reborn stuff it is amazing I'm caught up um, actually I'm caught up on everything now yes um so yeah so bloodshot reborn really really good stuff the analog man story arc is is really cool um so i'm curious to see where thir issue 13 takes us next up we have cyborg number 11 uh, looks like a juiced up cyborg on the cover have no idea what's going on with that but cyborg's an okay book um it's most likely going to end soon and yeah it was okay Next up, we have DC Bombshells number 13. This collects chapters 30, digital chapters 37 through 39. Um, enjoy DC Bombshells. It's cool to kind of see a different universe um, with all the female characters, especially that they're bombshells. That's always awesome. Um, next up is the big, big title from this week, which you, everyone should be buying, um, and that's DC Universe Rebirth number one. Uh, this 80 page giant, um, is only $2.99 and well worth it. Um, it is, uh, really, really awesome. Um, I read through it, uh, we recorded a podcast, uh, which I apologize for, uh, <laughs> It wasn't the best podcast, but uh, hopefully we'll redeem ourselves next episode. Um, but I thought it was a really well done issue. It is basically an advertisement for this new DC, this rebirth of DC. And I think it did an amazing job just giving you a good glimpse of what's to come. Um, also, it's a nice kind of intro to seeing what is to come um, out of it. Um, I'm not going to say anything specific about it here because I hopefully I want you guys to read it and check it out. Um, if I get a chance, I will do a review video on it. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that I can. So hopefully maybe I can do that tomorrow. We'll see. Next up on the pull list is Divinity 2, number 2. Uh, read the first issue. It's pretty cool. It's about a, uh, there were three astronaut, Russian astronauts that were sent out into space. Uh, Divinity was about um, one of them that came back after being exposed to something, and this is about the second astronaut coming back uh, exposed to something the same thing. Uh, the third astronaut's dead. So, or let me rephrase: the third astronaut powered the vehicle back. <laughs> Creepy stuff, but good, good, good. Um, Divinity is is a solid, solid book. I highly recommend you check out uh, Divinity Two out, and if you haven't, check out Divinity One. Uh, next up is East of West Twenty Six. Uh, it's a Hickman book. It's deep. It's good. I, I keep reading it just because it's good. Next up is Flash 52, The End. Did Riddler take out The Flash? Who knows? We'll see. Um, but gonna definitely check that out. It's the last issue of that run. So yeah, look forward to it. Next up we have Imperium number 16. Imperium's just a really, really solid title from uh, Valiant. I enjoy reading it. Uh, and can't, um, can't wait to see what's in store with that issue. Uh, next up is another one of the big issues this week from DC. is Justice League 50. Ends the Dark Side War and leads you into the DC Rebirth. Uh, if you haven't been reading Justice League, you don't really need to pick it up and read it. Um, to read Rebirth. If you have been reading Justice League, read Justice League 50 first before you read Rebirth. But it is a really, really solid book. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Omega Men number 12. Um, Tom King kicking ass on this book. Um, it's really amazing. I'm curious to see how it ends. So yeah. And if you haven't been reading it, Find those, find the trades, and find the single issues, or find the trade and wait for the next one. Next up, we have Scooby Apocalypse number one. Yes, that is a Jim Lee cover. Uh, I'm curious to see what Scooby Doo is like with DC. Um, we sold out a Future Quest with came, which came out last week. Yeah, Future Quest came out last week. We sold out of it. Uh, Should have bumped our orders on Scooby Doo because we sold out of that too. Um, but yes, curious, curious to see where they're going. Uh, Future Quest was okay. 
Um, it wasn't up my alley, but it was enjoyable. Next up, we have Secret Six, number 14, last issue of Secret Six. Curious to see what how Gail Simone ends the 14-issue Secret Six run. Uh, overall, I've enjoyed it, so yeah, good, good stuff. Next up is Sex, number 28. Um, I keep reading it just because it's there. It's good. I don't know. I can't really tell you much else. So uh, there was one title we were shorted completely of, and that was Suicide Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad Most Wanted, Deadshot and Katana, number five. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty bummed about that. Hopefully we get that uh, reordered and in the shop soon. A uh, bunch of variants I picked up this week. I did pick up the midnight release cover that we had for DC Rebirth, um, number one. I also picked up the Flash 52, New 52 homage cover variant. Uh, Scooby had a bunch of variants, and I picked up three of them. The first one was the coloring book variant for issue one, and they also had a nice blank cover, so I snagged that one. Uh, and then uh, they had a pretty cool looking just Scooby on the cover uh, issue. They also had one of the rest of the characters um, by themselves, but those were the ones that I wanted. So that's it for my pull list. Those are the titles, again, that I bring home to read and put in my collection because that's just what I do. Um, so now it's on to the read list. Um, first up is a controversial book. Um, if you haven't uh, been on the internet or haven't read it, um, yeah, you won't know why. Um, but Captain America Steve Rogers number one came out, and I read it. And it was... I understand what they're doing. I don't think it's the correct way to do it. Nick Spencer does a good job writing the book, and you get this really good feel about it uh, while you're reading it, and then they try and throw this curveball at the end, which I don't really think works necessarily for Nick Spencer, um, but we'll see. I don't know how much I'm going to read it. Um, it's, again, a number, number one from Captain America. God knows how many volumes we're on on that one, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Most likely they're going to change it back to something. So if you don't know or you're curious, check it out or go on the internet and read up on why. Uh, next up we have Daredevil number seven. Um, it's been okay. Uh, I don't think it's Charles Soule's best work, uh, which kind of bums me out because he's a lawyer and he's writing a lawyer character. So, yeah. uh, next up we have Deathstroke 18. Um, yeah, I've been buying the issues because they have Suicide Squad in them, but I don't think this one does. But it's an interesting enough story that I keep um, checking it out for reading. Uh, then next up we have Doctor Strange, The Last Days of Magic Part 3. This is issue number 8. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Jason Aaron's doing an okay job with Doctor Strange. Not as strong as Thor, um, but I am enjoying it. Next up is... Extraordinary X-Men number 10. Jeff Lemire's X-Men is amazing. If you have not been reading it, I highly recommend you go track down some back issues and get on it because it's good, good stuff. Next up, we have Grayson number 20. Uh, looks like this is the final issue of that. So before we get back to the Blue Suit Nightwing, which is making a lot of people happy. Next up, we have Mighty Thor number 7. Aaron's been kicking ass on this book, and I've just been enjoying it, so... Yep, yeah, good, good title. Highly recommend people check it out and read it. Uh, new number one from Marvel. It's Nighthawk number one. This is Nighthawk from the Squadron Supreme. Uh, so I'm going to give it a try, see if it catches my interest. Um, next up, we have Star Wars number 19. Um, Star Wars has just been an amazing title. Uh, I can't, every, month, every time it comes in, I can't wait to read it. Um, yeah, good, good stuff. Next up is Star Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin number 5. Uh, surprisingly enough, I've really enjoyed this book, um, even though it is about Anakin Skywalker. Um, a lot of stuff that is not movie Anakin has been really good, and this is one of them. Uh, next up is Superman 52, The Final Days of Superman, last issue. Uh, if you cannot tell from the title of the story arc what happens, I don't know how else to convey it to you. Yeah. Um, they say you should read that before reading DC Rebirth. There's no real point. Um, you know exactly what happens in that book. The new 52 Superman is no longer around. Um, yeah, so that's it. Next up is a really good Superman title, and that's Superman Lois and Clark, number eight. I uh, can't wait to read that. It's been really, really good, good stuff. Um, uh, Jim, um, our, uh, sometimes guest pod or podcast great great guy all over uh made a print of the big huge splash page of dc rebirth um the little like 
just everybody on uh, everybody in the cover cool cool stuff so happy he he did that and he gave that it's pretty cool I have to put it up somewhere um but dc did come out with dc uh rebirth uh lithograph prints um so if your store was lucky enough to get some of these hopefully you snagged one um but good good stuff there uh all over a uh, couple one more thing on my that i got this week which is pretty big uh, was I got the Fantasy Figure Gallery Poison Ivy Louis Rio awesome awesome statue um, hopefully I will be able to do an unboxing video of that for you guys um, but uh, yeah I'm a sucker when it comes to the Gotham City Sirens and uh, I think I need to get the they did a Catwoman and I think I need to get it but it's uh, a little pricey so yeah, uh, and then Charlie was my the, my wonderful co-host and co-worker and friend. Uh, Charlie was uh, pre-ordered for me Overwatch Origins Edition, um, so I can check out some playing some Overwatch on PlayStation Four. Um, hopefully, I get my card back in Hearthstone. Yes, um, but it did come with this pretty cool license plate for Overwatch. So I know a couple people like Ryan Scott were a little jealous. Um, but yeah, so Charlie was nice enough to pre-order that for me, so I gotta get him his money. Um, that's it for my pull list. Um, I'm going to be moving, um, in two weeks. I'll be moving, so there might be a slight change-up of the background, um, for an episode or so. Uh, we're moving to a new apartment, hopefully a nicer apartment, um, nicer complex, all that wonderful stuff. I'll be actually closer to the shop. I'm gonna be, uh... Yeah, living over in Sunnyvale for the first time in my life. I've lived in Santa Clara, San Jose, Santa Clara, and now I'm going to Sunnyvale. So hopefully that journey is a good one. Uh, so again, the pull lists might have a different background for a little while, but uh, I'm going to work my hardest to get uh, my little office nook or area set up so I can have a nice background instead of a blank wall or something or artwork with my kids. I don't know. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe the video. Uh, leave your comments down below, stuff you pull every week. It's cool to see what people are getting. Um, you know, Let me know how I'm doing. All that wonderful stuff. You can listen to me on the Comic Conspiracy Podcast. Episode 262 is up, which is the difficult episode to listen to uh, about DC Rebirth. Uh, if you give it a shot, you give it a shot. Um, but Ryan Higgins should be back from his honeymoon, and we will record a proper DC Rebirth podcast when he's back. Hopefully that's episode 263. Um, you can help me, myself and my fellow conspirators out by going to Patreon at patreon.com slash comic conspiracy and for as little as a dollar a month you help us with hosting getting some food and all that wonderful stuff you help me get some some titles i appreciate all everything that you know our patreon listeners provide for us and it's just great that you guys do that thank you um you can follow me on twitter my handle is at brock Seger, and yeah so that's pretty much it i'm hosting a if you're in the south bay uh, this weekend on the 29th, I'm hosting a fireside gathering at Comic Conspiracy. So if you're curious, come on down. Um, there is a Facebook group for it. It is also listed on Blizzard's website. Uh, so yeah, so first ever fireside gathering at Comic Conspiracy. Hopefully there will be more. I'll be raffling off a Battle.net, $20 Battle.net card uh, there. And hopefully it's just some good times overall. So yeah, uh, that's it. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.